hello there welcome back in this video lecture we will see how to write data into a mysql table till now we have seen how to read a table from mysql and do some transformations or push down a query uh, but this time we'll try to write uh, or read a file and uh, write that file uh, content of the file into a table in mysql uh, right so let me create a database uh, let me create a, a spark uh, file here writing to my sql db and i'll write the boilerplate code copy paste it so here i'm creating a spark job a spark session and uh, here i'm uh, creating a jdbc connection now uh, let me just open uh, uh, my mysql table uh, which is uh, here uh, in this is the mysql which is there in the quick uh, quick start vm uh, let's uh, see what are the databases uh, we have uh, we have all these databases and i have created a database which is spark2 course right and uh, let's just use this database and let me see if any tables are there in the database already uh, this database doesn't have any tables right now what i'll do i'll go to my uh, cloudera another Cl cloudera session and i'll see there are uh, three different data sets available uh, so these three data sets right i will uh, take any one uh, let me just take uh, this uh, stocks uh, data set stocks and uh, I'll, I'll read this uh, stocks uh, uh, file uh, i think this is a csv file let's see yeah this is a csv file i'll read this csv file and uh, write the contents of this uh, csv file into mysql table uh, so let me just quickly uh, do that uh, for that i'll just uh, read uh, uh, the table uh, or csv file nsc stocks is the data frame name and i'll read using spark dot read dot option and this is a header right uh, this is a csv right it will have a header as well so header is uh, true and uh, i want to read a csv file so along along with uh, reading right i want to impose the schema as well uh, to impose the schema what i have to do i i have to use uh, this infer schema as well infer schema i'll set it as true if you're not aware of uh, reading a csv file in spark job i have a video created for that and uh, i'll leave the uh, i'll leave a link to that video in top right corner of the video uh, you can go and uh, check that uh, check it out uh, now that we have uh, loaded the csv file uh, what i have to do i want to write the content uh, this csv file is loaded as a data frame which is nse stocks right this is a data frame uh, this data frame uh, i would like to write into a, a table a data sorry nsc stocks i would like to write the data okay and what i want to do i want to write to a jdbc connection so in the jdbc connection what are the uh, it, it, it has the same thing uh, it, it it asks for the url and uh, table and the connection properties url is the one uh, where we create uh, a jdbc url for mysql because i'm using a mysql database and a table is the one uh, uh, which states uh, where we have to store the data uh, so for this let me create a table name val well, uh, table equals to i want to create the table uh, in uh, spark2 course right this is my database which i want to use so i'll do spark2 course dot and i'll give the table name as uh, nsc underscore stocks this is my table so and uh, and the connection properties i have created this as just properties and i'll uh, write this so uh, when we are writing the data into um, uh, a mysql table or any other table right there are certain op options as well uh, like a save mode there is a mode called uh, this mode is nothing but it gives an option uh, whether if the table is already there uh, what do you want to do if the table is already there whether you want to append the data 
uh, to the existing table or you want to overwrite the data in the existing table or you want to uh, throw an error if uh, if the uh, table is already the table uh, is already there uh, in the uh, target which is uh, mysql right there are three different uh, modes so i here i just uh, want to do an overwrite every time i uh, write the data into the uh, table i want to overwrite rather than append it is just uh, is a business requirement whatever you wanted to uh, do so here i'll just use the same, uh, same uh, mode as overwrite and now uh, let me just run the spark job and see uh, you can see here uh, we don't have any tables i've just uh, shown it earlier once the spark job is complete uh, we should be able to see the table uh, with name uh, ns where is that uh, nsc underscore stocks right let's see uh, now we can see that uh, a spark job is submitted to the yarn uh, uh, yarn master yarn and we got this application as id as well and now it is running the job uh, now you can see that our spark job has completed successfully uh, let me just uh, go to mysql database and see if the table is created and uh, yeah now you can see the table is created uh, let me just uh, cross check if the data <clears throat> uh, is uh, loaded properly or not i'll just do select uh, star from uh, nsc stocks limit 10 and i can see the data here let me just uh, give a count as well star from nse underscore stocks uh, there are around uh, 8 lakh 46 thousand uh, records uh, so if you want to cross check if the entire data has been uh, written properly or not uh, what you can do uh, Instead of uh, here, I, I, I can just uh, give uh, record count, print ln. Record count, uh, NSC stocks dot counts. It's just a validation which you which I am doing. I just I am just seeing all the records of uh, uh, this uh, CSV file has been uh, dumped in the table or not. Uh, the table is already created and I have cross checked the data in the table. Uh, it states there are 80 8 lakh 46 thousand 404 records. I want to make sure that the source file is also having the same number of records. So I am just running a count query uh, across. Let's see there. Uh, now you can see the job is completed and uh, uh, even uh, the source file counts uh, shows that there are 8,46,404 records and we have same number of records in uh, in our uh, MySQL table as well, right? So our entire, entire uh, CSV file has been copied into MySQL table. So that's how you write the data from a data frame on uh, into uh, any of the JDBC connection uh, database uh, that can be Oracle, MySQL, or a Teradata, or uh, Postgre, or whatever database uh, which supports a JDBC connection, right? Uh, so that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, in the coming videos we'll see how to connect uh, or uh, how to connect to a hive uh, uh, database and uh, how to work with the catalog catalog uh, api and uh, we'll also see how to uh, migrate the data from uh, 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 jdbc uh, databases uh, that can be uh, i'll use a mysql obviously a mysql database to uh, hive table right uh, and we'll also see the transformations which we can do uh, on these things yeah that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, see you in the next video bye guys